Hello everyone, so in my opinion, Donzo sucks, but I'm going to tell you why he could have been an amazing character. So Donzo did a lot of horrible things, but he did them for the good of the village. But the problem is we never got to see any of the good that came from these horrible actions. So a good example of something horrible Donzo did was when he raised Sai and Shin together to be like brothers, but then when their training was done and they were older, that they had to fight to the death, and they did this so that they could suppress their emotions, so emotions wouldn't get in the way while they were out in the field. And as horrible as this is, and I don't personally like this, there could be good reasons for this. But the problem is we never got shown any of the reasons why he did this, as far as I can remember anyway. But I did have an idea of something that could happen to give a very good reason to do this. Maybe there could have been several examples of Ambu members having to assassinate targets, but they were unable to do so because they had to follow around their target for a long time, so they knew when the perfect time to assassinate them was, and by doing so, they saw that their target had a family, and then after seeing that, they were not able to carry out their mission. Even though they'd killed several before, seeing someone out with their family, being a loving father or mother, could make it very difficult to kill someone. Or if they had to get close to a target before assassinating them for whatever reason, that could make it even harder. Just pretending to be someone's friend and getting to know them, just pretending that could form a bond and then that could make the mission impossible for them to carry out. But someone that's an emotionalist would not have this problem at all. And maybe there could have been a great example of hundreds or even more ninjas dying or even innocent civilians because an Anbu member could not carry out their mission. And this could be why Donzo created the Root subdivision in the Anbu. And maybe even some kind of story thrown in about Donzo having the same problem so he had to press and kill his emotions which could have made him somewhat redeemable. And don't even get me started on what Donzo did to Kabuto and his adoptive mother. That I did not understand the purpose other than to give Kabuto a tragic backstory and to make us not like Donzo even more. But to sum up, I like the idea of Hiroshin being the light and Donzo being the shadow. I just wish they had executed Donzo much better I don't know what Kishimoto's original intentions with Donzo was, but I just wish he could have wrote him just a little bit better.